Okay, so for problem 1, we have a tank of oil having a mass of 25 slugs. So yung mass natin is 25 slugs. Okay? And we have to determine its weight in pounds and newtons at the Earth's surface. So we have to determine its mass, I mean its weight, okay, in pounds and newtons. So diba mass natin is 25 slugs. And we know that one slug is equivalent to 32.2 pounds. Okay? So we have to determine its weight. So the weight is equivalent to mass times acceleration due to gravity so meaning we have 25 slugs okay which should be multiplied by 32.2 so this is equivalent to 805 pounds okay and we just have to convert this into newton so paano natin mo convert yon so we have 805 pounds okay times 2.2 pounds is to 1 kilogram. Diba? Times makakocompute natin dito is in kilogram which is mass. So para makuha natin yung weight, we just have to multiply that by 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay? Ito is weight ha. So this is equivalent to 3,589.57 newtons. Okay? So, yung isang question naman, question B, what would be its mass? So, the mass, okay, in slugs is still 25 slugs since ang mass natin is constant. Hindi yan nagbabago kahit nasa moon ka or nasa earth. While the weight, okay, is equivalent to 805, okay, pounds times 2.2 pounds to 1 kilogram, okay? Since kukunin natin muna is in newtons, okay? Then, ang um, acceleration due to gravity is 1 6 daw na acceleration due to gravity of the earth which is 9.81 meters per second squared. So, the weight is equivalent to 595.55 newtons. And, kung i-convert natin to in pounds, ang um, 595.55 paano natin i-convert so 595.55 newtons okay divide 9.81 okay meters per second squared so yung lalabas niyan is kilograms times ba kilograms yung lalabas so for every 1 kilogram okay there is 2.2 Pound. So, ang answer natin would be 13 or 134.17 pounds. So, these are the final answers. So, next problem. Okay. So, the information in a can of pop indicates that the can contains 335 ml of pop. So, ibig sabihin, yung volume ng pop natin is 335 milliliters. So, this is equivalent to 0 0.335 liters. Okay? Or 0 0.30 tapos 335 meter cube. Okay? So, the mass of the full can of pop is 0 0.369 kilogram. So, the mass daw of full can of pop is equivalent to 0 0.369 kilograms. Okay? And the empty can, the weight of empty can, okay, is equivalent to 0 0.153 newtons. So, we have to determine the specific weight, okay, the density, and the uh, specific gravity of the pop. So, para makuha natin yung weight ng pop natin, okay, so this is equivalent to the weight of the full can minus the weight of the empty can. Para makuha natin kung ano yung weight ng pop. So, ano ba yung weight ng full can? So, weight ng full can is equivalent to mass of the full can times acceleration due to gravity 
g. So, this is equivalent to mass of the Vulcan 0 0.369 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. So, the weight of the Vulcan is equivalent to 3.62 newton. So, para makuha natin yung weight ng pop, so, uh, this should be equivalent to what? So, weight ng pop, weight ng full, 3.62 newtons minus weight ng empty, 0 0.153 newtons. So, this is equivalent to 3.467 newtons. Okay? So, para makuha natin yung mass ng pop, okay? So, we just have to divide the weight of the pop over 9.81 meters per second squared. So, this is 3.467 newtons over 9.81 meters per second squared. So, the mass of the pop is equivalent to 0 0.353 kilograms. Okay? So, the density of the pop is equivalent to the mass of the pop over the volume of the pop mass over volume. So, this is equivalent to 0 0.353 kilograms over the volume of the pop, which is 0 0.335 times 10 to the negative 3 liters. Kasi gagawin natin siya, ah sorry, this is meter cube. So, gagawin natin siyang meter cube. Okay? So, uh, the density of the pop is equivalent to 1,054.97 kilograms per meter cube. And the specific gravity is density of the pop over density of water. Okay? So, i-divide nyo lang to ng 1,000. So, 1.05 ang kanyang specific gravity. And yung specific weight niya, okay, is density times acceleration due to gravity so 1054.97 times 9.81 so the specific weight is equivalent to 10,355 or just 10.35 kN per meter cube kasi dinivide na natin ng 1000 kaya kN per meter cube so these are the answers.